Thank you to Helix Sleeve for sponsoring today's video. Yo, can I get a... I was gonna ask for attendance. There's some kid in the back of the class. Is uh, Jared here? Teacher goes, what was that? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Who are you, is that Jared? <laughs> I'm here to you. I'm here. Thank you so much. Back in the saddle. No, we're not, actually. These are saddles. I bought them from- <laughs> It just takes a lot of shit. All right, what do you got um, today, Austin? Today, I got a brand new pair of pants I'm trying to sell you, Jared. Uh, it's got 17 pockets. Are they uh, the pants you're wearing now? They are, and I- I'll take them. I lied, my first one. I don't know about y'all, but sleep is incredibly important for me as it helps me achieve my true inner dicky. And with Helix Sleep, slumber has never been better. I was bestowed a Helix mattress a few months ago, and I couldn't be happy here to say it is a blessing to be blessing this bed come here get closer premium mattresses and bedding that are customized to your needs and shipped right to your door the process to order is inclusive and super easy now we know everybody's a little different so helix has you complete a brief sleep quiz to match you to your unique sleep self you can even double up on the quiz if you have a sleep partner so that you can achieve the perfect sleep for everyone keep it down based on my results i was paired with the helix dusk lux i'm a bit of a side sleeper with a proclivity to firmness and yes i do sleep with a partner Damn, damn Until Helix, I honestly didn't know how good a mattress could get. I love to roll around in search of all the coldest spots on my bed. And with the Glacio Tex cooling cover mattress, my bed stays insanely cool and comfy since the day I hopped in. Having this mattress has changed my sleep prep from tedious to instantaneous. I think Helix plays healers because my back has never felt more supported. What's even more wild is with your Helix purchase, you get a 100 night sleep trial, along with a 10 year warranty, plus there's finance and flex options. They will even deliver right to your door for free. And when you get it, you'll find it to be a breeze to unpack. You just go boop ba ding ba skip it and there it is. So if you're looking for a quality new bed, check out Helix Sleep. You can follow the link below or go to helixsleep.com slash dickydines and you'll receive 20% off plus two free pillows with your order. This is a deal you don't want to sleep on. Or you do want to sleep. Or you do... You, you don't want to sleep... Miss the... You don't want to sleep in, miss the deal. There's oversleep on the... Don't miss... Your early bird gets the deal. On the next one. Huge thank you to Helix Sleep. Now back to the video. Okay, so today I uh, I thought it'd be a fun thing to to harken back to the uh, the this band versus that band type thing that we've done in the past. But this one I did uh, metal and rock versus memes. Okay. So it's uh, music videos or content on YouTube uh, versing each other. So I found like a you know like the most popular or a really popular song from a metal artist, and then it'll go head to head against like a really popular meme song. Song okay. That, that, you know, we know of, or if you don't know of, then I'll, I could pull it up for you and show you a clip. Because some of them, you know, the, you know the sound, but not the name, right? Sure, sure. You guys can play along at home if you feel so inclined, and that's metal and rock versus memes. <laughs> and rock. <laughs> All right. So first up, we got Greta Van Fleet's song "Highway Tune," mm -hmm. and that's going head to head with Trippy Red's "I Miss the Rage." Okay. Yeah, I, I know that one. And it's the music video on YouTube. Okay. I'm confused. <laughs> Which one has more views? Oh. Memes or metal? And rock. I think the trippy red for sure. You think tri that. trippy one? Yeah. Trippy one. I said the trippy red one? I think so, for sure. So Trippy Red's uh, official music video has only 23 million views, surprisingly. Really? I thought it would have like... Like a ton more. Yeah, I thought it'd be like a couple hundred. That's million. one of the rare ones where the remix is like a lot more viral. Oh. And the Greta Van Le Fleet song has 85 million. Damn. So it actually has like quadruple the views of it. Okay. Surprise. Yeah, that one, I was actually like really shocked. And that got I thought me. the opposite of that, got that too. Me. Interesting. I mean, I know Greta Van Fleet's big. I just thought Trippy Red was like huge. Right, yeah, you yeah. I mean, like. Exactly. Massive. For some reason, that song didn't. It was the remix. Crushed that, to that degree. That did well. The uh, Even the audio version has more reviews than the music video. Interesting. Yeah, like the single they released like a few months before that. Mm -hmm. And so the music video has Playboy Cardi too, so it's really surprising it's not like a huge thing. Okay, up next we got, uh, this is a good one, we got Metallica oh. in their song Nothing Else Matters. Okay. It's their most viewed song. Mm -hmm. uh, I almost said the <laughs> <laughs> it's got this. It's got this many views. Like I was just bringing him up. Uh, versus the infamous Rick Astley's never gonna give you up. Oh, the official dear. one. What? 
Metallica's most viewed song. It's got to be yet. really close, right? It's very close. Oh, yeah. like, no. So close. I was oh, like, no. Oh, that's why I picked these. I was like, damn, those are like right on the money. Honestly. I want to I say they're both around like 700 and like 80 million ish. Okay, okay. I could not tell you. <sighs> I know, that's a hard, this is a hard one. <laughs> Memes are metal. <laughs> Memes are metal. Oh baby. no! Memes are metal. I'm gonna say Rick Astley has more. That's right. Yeah, I did it. It's Metallica. Nothing else matters. 1.1 billion. 1.1 billion on the music video. Think of the ad revenue, bro. <laughs> Holy shit! And then Rick Astley has 1.2 billion. Wow. So just barely. I mean, that's not barely. It's billions, but you know. <laughs> yeah. But you know, in this. Get better views, <laughs> pussy. <laughs> that dude, Rick Astley is just been. What I mean, a that, weird career. That song is just iconic. He's just good for for the rest of his it's, life. Oh yeah. Off that one track that's so tight. Because of like memes. <laughs> Copyright. All right, this is another classic one here. Okay, okay so we got um, my cock. No. <laughs> <laughs> my cock or your cock? <laughs> yeah, which one has more views? I uploaded them both last night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, typo negatives, black number one. Okay. Little Miss Scarol. <laughs> Just like sit on that for a minute. Or the troll -a -lo song. <laughs> oh God. That's throwing it back. Um, if you want to. I'm gonna say the typo negative. Typo neg? Yeah, maybe. I feel like it is. Cause I, I feel like that troll -a -lo song was like, it never quite hit its like. It was on Family Guy. Yeah, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, I was, uh, I'm gonna say typo negative. Typo neg? Yeah, I'm gonna say typo negative. It's the troll little song. Oh no. Memes are always more, dude. Memes are metal, baby. Uh, yeah, the typo negative one is actually 10 million less than the troll little song. Okay, so. And the troll little song has been like diversified. There's like three uploads that have like 20 mil, 37 mil. Yeah. Like in that range. So it's like, eh. Yeah, it's, it's like not super far off. But yeah. I, I I didn't honestly know the typo negative was like that huge. I always like they have some good songs. Like, my, like someone like who's friends with my dad would bring up, <laughs> and then I was like, oh, they're actually like a massive They've, group. <laughs> yeah, they're they're more like because they actually have been doing it for so long and they make decent music. Like they don't. I don't think they've ever had like a viral moment. Right. They just consistently. They just consistently killing. have been them. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It was nice. I, I listened to that track and I was like, I've never really like sat down and listened to one of yeah. the songs. It was actually kind of pretty sick. It's pretty cool. I like it. And it, it makes sense now when every time somebody's like, this has like a typo negative type vibe to it. It's like, like a gloomy. They have a very like gloomy sound and all their stuff. They're good though. I like them. That's yeah, interesting. Oh yeah, so right now I guess Memes we're- are winning. Yeah, I didn't even realize what we're Who would have thought? Uh, up next we got an uh, iconic matchup right here, dude. Oh, no. Lorna Shores to the Hellfire. Okay. Versus the Potato Flew Around My Room song. I never even heard that. You never heard that? It's from the Vine days. It's not hitting me anywhere. A potato flew around my room. It's like Gabby Hanna. <laughs> Was, That's it? It was, dude, it was used in like every meme in Vine. I'm so, so surprised you don't know. Uh, I don't get it. Um, <laughs> Alright, so the, the, the big Lorna Shore song. Yeah, the biggest or Lorna Shore song. That. <laughs> the potato song. The potato song. I don't know the potato song. Yeah. But if it was on Vine, I imagine most of the views were on Vine instead of like. The, vi the official YouTube video. Mm. So I'll say Lorna Shore. Final answer. Okay, okay. And that was a great answer. Yeah! Yeah. And it's actually Let's go. dummy close, though. It's is it? Lorna Shore is 10 million. Okay. And the potato song is 9.9 .9 million. Oh, God. I never, I never heard. That. I never knew that existed. Yeah, I'm surprised. I, I, I thought it was since, since it was Vina that it would that you would know that one. That was that was my bad. That's crazy. Up next, keeping it going with the metal versus rock versus memes, we got Arch Enemy 
Okay. And their song, The Eagle Flies Alone. Yeah. It's their yeah. biggest song. I know that one. Versus Megalovania. Ooh. <laughs> Megalovania, I think, for sure, right? That's your final answer? It has to be Megalovania. Yeah, that yeah, that has to it's be. A, it's I mean, pretty close, though, honestly. It's, oh, wow. Yeah, I was, Megalovania actually snuffed it out by not that. Arch Enemy's pretty big. <laughs> no, yeah, that for sure. I knew they were big, but like. Megalovania? Oh, that's right. like. <laughs> that's like internet culture, dude. That's fair, that's fair. <laughs> You'll find that in like the deepest sex of 4chan. <laughs> the deepest sex. Is a fortune. You're kind of crushing it right I'm now. I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Uh, up next, we got a bit of a harder one for you. Okay. We got System of a Down's Toxicity mm -hmm. versus All Star by Smash Mouth, baby. Oh no. Which is funny that that's like a meme, but it's a legitimate song. Right. It's like actually. It's like they actually wrote that song. It's like <laughs> such a meme now. Thanks, Shrek. So <laughs> <Smash Mouth. laughs> yeah. I dude, I, I gotta go with Smash Mouth. I gotta go with All Star because like I just feel like more people would listen to that than more than would listen to Toxicity. Maybe I don't know. You, my friend, have underestimated System uh, of a Down fans. No, I know, <laughs> I know how right. big they are. But, but like, Toxicity specifically, All Star also. All Star you has... can't talk to one person that exists that doesn't know that song. Yeah, that is you know true. what I mean. That's true. Yeah, I guess maybe the repeat value though isn't quite there. Like people know That's the song true. but aren't like jamming. That's true. <laughs> That's a good in their point. Car. <laughs> they just watched Shrek a hundred mm, times. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, That's a good. Point. The numbers to Smash Mouth is four hundred and thirteen million, and then Toxicity is six hundred ninety-four. I knew it was six hundred something million. Oh really? Yeah. I've seen that video. I, know, I was. Times. I thought Smash Mouth would have like in that range. I thought like, it'd be like eight hundred. Yeah. yeah. Definitely surprising to see that. It must be like, yeah, where, where it's more viral in the meme sphere where Dude, people re-upload different versions. The Chop Suey has like... The Chop Suey? <laughs> one something billion or like crazy numbers for for like a band like that. You right. know what I mean? That has like... Yeah, for, for some reason that song like transcended the genre and became yeah, like pop culture almost. Yeah, it was interesting. Alright, up next we got another legendary matchup. Slayer. Uh, it is their third most viewed song of all time, if that gives you any type of help. It's called Repentless. Mm -hmm. Versus... Helicopter! Helicopter! <laughs> Slayer's pretty... There's a music video for the helicopter song, too. Slayer's pretty niche. Even in, like, the metal world, I feel like a lot of people don't listen to Slayer. Or, like, they know of Slayer, but they don't actually listen to them. Well, they're the people that listen to Slayer are the people that drive our, our fan base to our show. <laughs> I'm gonna say helicopter on that one. You're gonna say helicopter! Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's actually Slayer. Is it? Yeah, by like quite a bit. Interesting. I was surprised. The helicopter song has 18 million okay. on the official video. And then Slayer is uh, 39 million on that. And that's not their most viewed. Right, that's the thing is like, I feel like the, the platform mm -hmm. that it's most popular on Helicopter would blow it out of the water. Yeah, like TikTok or something. For it's probably, sure. Yeah, the little clips probably got trillions of interactions. But, yeah. But um, the YouTube world, yeah, YouTube makes it the music videos more specifically. Yeah. Makes it a little more like. It's just also funny that there's a music video for that song. And it's literally just like <laughs> a guy looking badass in front of helicopters. Right, right. <laughs> so, yeah. Up next, we got Black Sabbath, their most viewed song, Paranoid. Mm -hmm. Versus we're number one. We're oh, number geez. one. Oh jeez, that's that oh. was huge. I'm gonna I'm gonna say we are number one. You think we are number one is number yeah. one in this situation? Yeah. They're actually number two. Oh no. But uh, yeah, I was I was shocked. Uh, Black Sabbath's Paranoid has 169 million. Wait, I thought that. We are number one would have like in the, like, oh, close like a billion. A billion. Yeah. yeah, right. I thought we were dealing with much higher numbers. Only uh, 121 million from the official Lazy Town that's YouTube crazy. channel. Yeah, again, these that's the, the hard thing about these meme things is that like some of them, it's like the rewatchability. Yeah, or like the clip, like maybe like a section of the song yeah, goes viral. Right. So the full thing isn't quite as big as the clipability of the that's meme. That's fair. That's fair. Whereas like Rick Astley translates because the meme was to send people the whole link. Right. Right. That Makes sense. Very interesting internet culture. Yeah, for real. How it works. Uh, a couple more we got here. Up next we have Lamb of God uh -huh. and their most viewed song, Redneck Classic. Makes sense. Versus uh, Running in the 90s. When you see things differently. Embarrassing. 
<laughs> you don't know this one? No. The fucking, like, anytime something goes fast in, like, a video. It's, like, been, like, meme deep fried. And it's, like, I've probably really heard fast. it. I just don't really recognize it. Oh, damn, that's, that's surprising. That would that would be like keeps me up at night. That really? sound pops in my head. I'm like, God damn it! I gotta go on a tangent. <laughs> Dude, also, this is a crazy tangent. I just wanted to say real quick. Do uh, you know Lamb of God's song Memento Mori? They put uh-huh. out like a couple years ago. It was like the header for their like album. That's the, already their second most viewed song on YouTube. Nice. That was, I, was, I was like, damn, bro, that's like impressive as hell. They, yeah. They've been around for as long as they have, and they just put out their second biggest song. <laughs> that's that's good for them, man. Yeah, very that's sick. That's awesome. I'm going to say Redneck. You say Redneck? Yeah, final answer. Locking it in. It's running in the 90s, actually, <laughs> by uh, with 50 million as the lead, and Redneck was 35 million. Okay. I'm doing awful. Are you, I, no, you killed the first fucking part of this. You had us in the first half. The memes have, have uh, revolted, though. They switched around because the memes were dominating, and then they stopped dominating. Now they're doing it again. Dominating again. <laughs> memes are always dominating. The memes are always there, Jared. Memes is a legitimate career nowadays. Dude, honestly, though, and stealing memes is also just as a big of a business. All right, you ready for the last one? Yeah. All right. Five finger death punches. Okay. Uh, wrong side of heaven. Okay. Versus uh, Giorno's theme from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Like 500 million or something. I know it has a lot. He's uh, so pretty big. Oh, man. I don't know how big the Jojo's thing would be, though. I'm going to, okay, I'm going to say. Out of slight ignorance, I'm gonna say wrong side of heaven. Five finger death punch. Cause I know that has a lot of views, but I don't know how big the JoJo's one is. Wrong side of heaven. Final answer. Logging it in. Final answer. Yeah. You were correct. Yeah. It is that. Yeah. You. Uh. Let's your, go. your your guess is pretty good too in the numbers. Uh, just under four hundred million. Okay. Uh. And then Giorno's theme is seventy one million. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's way yeah, smaller. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's uh, go. There, I, yeah, that, that one's another one where it's like uh, across YouTube, it's probably got like a hundred million views. But yeah. Just on its own, it's like yeah, it's not. Well, yeah, and then the, dude, Five Finger Death Punch is so big. Like yeah, they get a lot of shit, but like they're so mm-hmm. big. They're yeah, they're a for the troops band. Yeah, they're huge. Like, they're huge demographic. Of Manly the men listen to them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The only sure. time I cry is during war films. So. And listening to Five Finger Death Punch. Well, that's like listening to a war film. That's the audio version of a war film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, what's his name? Andy James joined them a couple of years ago. Yeah, last year, a couple of years ago. They always get new people. I remember. Charlie Engen joined a little bit ago, too. Andy James is sick. Andy James! So, yeah, what do you think of metal and rock versus memes? I mean, it's... <sighs> It was it kind of went how I imagined it would. Memes are always typically more <laughs> dominating, more than the music. The rare situation. It just depends on the meme versus like how big the song was, I guess. Mm-hmm. Or if the song went viral versus a part of the song. For sure, type yeah. Of thing. I mean that's that's the thing. Like memes, man. Like <laughs> people people like a life? good joke. People like to laugh and just make fun of shit. People love to have a little giggle. They have a little giggle. It's weird though how songs will either be crazy like toxicity or wrong side of heaven, like hundreds of millions, mm-hmm. and then some songs you think are just as big, like eh, twenty million. <laughs> yeah. It's that's... like what is the difference there? Like it's what? Very strange. Yeah. Like what was. The reason this one got five hundred million and this one got forty million. Yeah, maybe just the mediums of like where they're listened. where they're yeah. posted. Yeah, I guess yeah, that like makes maybe sense. Maybe if you check the Spotify, you'd be like, oh, that there's the numbers I was yeah. looking for or something. Or maybe like when you know X video came out, it was exclusive on MTV or mm-hmm. Views for like a two year contract, and then went on YouTube. Oh yeah, or yeah. something, and That's they kind of missed its like. I have seen. Yeah, I, I was curious about why that would happen. Where I'm like, this song came out like two years before the upload date. Yeah. Like, why, what's going on here? But yeah, that totally could be makes something sense. like that. And then so everyone's kind of over it That's by the time stifled, they hit YouTube. Yeah. Whereas like when some like maybe Wrong Side of Heaven was featured on YouTube, mm-hmm. and that was like its release, so it's yeah. like it had that huge. That's the only place you can find it. Like I don't know, but mm-hmm. it's just a guess. You know? wild. Yeah, and then some memes you like these songs you think would be much bigger, but are maybe because like. The clips can be, you know, just ripped from like TikTok or something versus right. needing to look up the actual song. Yeah, yeah, it was fun. It was good. Memes, kind of love them. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Let us know in the comments down below what you'd like to see next. 
hit that like button and share the video with your friends if you thought it was decent. And if not, you can tell us you, you hated it. Now, t tell me about your favorite note in Megalovania. My favorite note is the... I like that. It's close. Slightly different. No, it's not! <laughs> Play it again! <laughs> Whiplash, but... Megalovania. <laughs> You're play my time. time! Austin has fallen asleep into a deep slumber. He has fell. He has fallen into slumber. Sorry, I was cosplaying as a gas station employee on heroin. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut that. We'll cut that for now. We'll cut that. We'll cut that. <laughs> stop. <laughs> my e true Hollywood story. I cannot stop pretending to overdose on heroin. <laughs>